Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Michelle Sabilafir Lucia and now I want to explain my answer uh, from some question according to journals. First journals is getting the next phase of remote learning right in higher education. Uh, the first question is uh, this question is what was the most challenging aspect of the transition of face-to-face -face learning to remote? Okay. Uh, my answer is I think the most challenging aspect from uh, the question from the journal is Using social media and online forums is to get students the best. Uh, the faculty will definitely start from a different point um, in their convenience and skill with, with distance teaching. Uh, but institutions that foster a culture uh, of improvement will benefit both their uh, students and the faculty themselves uh, set up a structure so faculty can get regular feedback from uh, regular f I'm sorry regular feedback on their distance teaching uh, teaching interestingly uh, the counselor or university staff uh, can discuss what is needed in terms of access to technology and learning, of course. For example, uh, consider how to uh, create spaces to form and new students groups to continue learning in some, in some way. What do students need the most for remote learning? during the ongoing global pandemic what students uh, need most during uh, the pandemic is uh, good internet and also laptops or media devices used to access online learning uh, in my opinion and an inst institution campus or a school should provide uh, facilities or allowances to students uh, or lend laptops or it could be uh, with faculties such as free hotspot and internet quotes during learning. For the second journal is moving from face-to-face -to, -face to remote instruction in a higher education institution, institution during a pandemic. Multiple case studies. For the question number one is, what was the most challenging aspect of online learning for university students? Okay. Uh, from this journal, the challenging aspect that I found was uh, the nature and personality of the students that determine their satis, uh, satisfaction and success in uh, online learning. Since COVID-19, since COVID students feel bur burdened and stressed. Like, therefore, it is difficult for them to follow the lessons smoothly and successfully. I mean, uh, successful uh what is what is meant by successful that students take online learning as well as they take a uh, face-to-face -face learning with circumstances that require them uh to study apart from teacher and friends there is a lack of uh, interaction between students and uh, teachers as well as classmates with the nature and personality of the students who are different 
the teachers become uh, confused about um, how to deal with the students with uh, these characters while uh, the position is far apart. Teacher also finally have to be able to courage uh, themselves to think of effectiveness of effective effective ways uh, so that learning goes according to existing procedures um, and rules. Uh, the second question is: What do students need the most for remote learning? during the ongoing global pandemic okay uh, same as the answer to the first journal uh, namely that it requires uh, facil facility support in the form of internet access uh, from university or schools and learning devices such as laptops uh, because with the lack of access uh, to the internet or devices uh, to be able to continue uh, to continue learning uh, it makes students more stressed I think that's all and I hope my answer is easy to understand uh, thank you so much for uh, watching and hearing this video Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.